Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Amahadi bin Abdul Rahman and I'm going to be presenting our group project's demonstration on how to perform a phishing attack using GoFish. First of all, go to GoFish official website to download the software and based on the operating system that you are using, you can download which, which version that you are using by downloading the zip file. But I already have mine installed so I'm just going to open the folder. To run this software, you just have to simply open the server first and to do that, you have to double click the executable file and it will give you a link to the server itself. And for the people who are using this for the first time, uh, the username and the password will be given in the comment prompt but because I have used this multiple times, I already have an account with my own password so I'm just going to put in my own password and after that we will be introduced to the GoFish dashboard. So that before launching an attack, there are a lot of things that you have to configure first but we will go through this one by one. Uh, first thing you have to configure is basically these one, two, three, four things. So let's first go off to sending profiles. So let's say if we want to make an attack from Facebook and we want to attack the user using Facebook name. So let's start off by creating a new profile, which is from who the email is from. So we can just say, let's say Facebook team. And from is who you want to make out from what the email who's the email from so let's say this is facebook authentication no reply at facebook maintenance to make it seem more convincing and the host you have depending on what email type you are using so we are using google so we have to use google's smtp server and its port which is 587 so SMTP gmail.com and the username and password we have to use a legitimate email because this is an open source we can't create a fake email that sends these emails so I'm just going to put the one that I created for this purpose and you can also send a, an email test if you want so for demonstration I'm going to show you say student send email sent so let's go to my email so this simple email works and that is all for sending profile moving on and save this profile for us to use later so moving on is landing page which is from the email itself there will be a few links and from the links it will redirect you to the landing page of the scammed website that you are that you want the user to land which is the landing page itself so let's create landing page name facebook so before this this version, you can import a site like a legitimate site like Facebook and make it seem like the user is presented in the Facebook login page. But from this newer version, you cannot do that anymore because Facebook's security is very, very strict. So I'm just going to use a simple HTML coding that creates that that basically captures the data when the user inputs the data. So we capture some of the data, capture password. And what's good about this UI is that you can also click this and this will basically show you how the user will see the website. So from this, you can make it more convincing and add like a few tags if you're trying to do that. And redirect to is an optional is an optional option 
basically what happens is when the user puts in their username and password it will redirect you to somewhere some other website so for example if after the someone put in their username and password we will redirect them back to facebook.com save page moving on is the email template which is the email itself that the user will receive so this part is quite quite big for example our facebook email and the subject for the email is what you want the is the subject of the email itself like for example we want to create an email that says tindakan diperlukan you can create a baiting title a clickbait title as you please so this part is quite fun to make because you can actually import an email which i'm going to show you basically whatever email you have for example you have an email from quora or from facebook itself for example i start a message Never. I take this message for example and then I want to copy this email basically click here and click show original copy to clipboard and basically paste it from import email and this is what the user will see from the email itself if you want you can edit it a little bit or like click here to authenticate you can edit from here or from the source code itself but, but this is will this will make it very easier as it can create this and help this make a legitimate email and a perfect email with every pixel so save template Moving on to users and groups, which is to who you want to send this attacks to. Basically, for this purpose, I'm just gonna create it about me only. You can add people who you want to attack, but it's just by filling this place up. There's also, you can also import in bulk using Excel format, like, such as this. First name, last name, email, and position. You can just fill this up and then you can simply import it and it will create the database itself. So I'm just going to send this for this demonstration. I'm just going to attack myself. Save changes. And finally, the campaign itself. So... After configuring these these few settings, we can finally create a campaign that will launch a phishing attack. So, campaign name, Facebook phishing. Email template, we just created a email template from Facebook. So click here, landing page, Facebook. The URL you have, this URL is basically GoFish is of this software happens in your local device so if you open the email from different device and not from the device that the, runs the gofish server this will not work you will get the email but this will not work so the url is basically https localhost the launch date and this is optional if you want to change the date depending on if you want it or not, send a profile is Facebook and groups, me only. Launch campaign. And after that, we will be redirected here. And it will show basically the data of if whether the email is sent, open, click linked, and or submitted data. So let me refresh my Gmail. And this is the email itself. Facebook authentication, tindakan diperlukan pada akun anda. And this is the email that will be sent. Seems pretty legit. So let's click this.
Is it because of my internet? That seems to be having a problem. Let me redo the test. Let me relaunch the campaign. Ah, there we go. You have to use HTTP instead of HTTPS. So when directed into this, this website simply the user will probably put in their real username and password but it's because this is an open source this page does not seem legit or this page does not seem like a bait at all but this is for demonstration purposes so if you can create a website that looks exactly like facebook that can be more convincing so the user will put username and password and after that it will redirect to the page itself without the person ever logging in in for the f from the first place so basically after that gofish will automatically retrieve the data and you can see the reports here when the campaign was created when the email was sent when was the email clicked and the submitted data and you can simply see what type of data that they they log in which is the username and the password so basically that's all on the demonstration thank you for watching